still remember the very first time I ever walked up this little rise to this cemetery many years ago as a young boy. And seeing one of the largest cemeteries inside the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, today known as Clemens Cemetery. Preacher Clemens being the last preacher of the church down there. And the whole field that morning when we got up here was covered in turkeys. I still remember that. Now this cemetery actually is going way back. I think it was two fa different family plots. Over here, Bohannon and Rayfields. Over here, Whaley's. In the middle, Hornby's. Let's walk around. Here's Ed Jarrett. Poor old Ed died in a building the road across Hot Springs, North Carolina in a landslide. Some say that he was uh, an accident. Some say it was murder because he'd won a card game the night before and the boys set him up and died him out of the rocks on top of him. The, uh, let's go over here to uh, people who can be Henry Bohannon, Harrison War Soldier. There's Henry. He first probably lived in down New Center and moved into Gatlinburg. And when his daughter married the Rayfields, Charles Rayfield, graves over here in his wife's grave, came here. I can remember being up here with Arthur Bohannon when we, we discovered this grave. At that point, at that time, that stone out there said Miles Bohannon. I said, Art, who's Miles Bohannon? We can't figure who Miles Bohannon is. I said, well, who was Henry Bohannon's wife? He said, Amelia. I knew right, right away it wasn't Amelia Shot, uh, Miles Shotwell. It was M-I-L-A, had a little dot and an S. I said, that's, that's not Miles, that's Millie S. Amelia Shotwell. We pulled the stone out of the ground, cleaned off the bottom, and the very bottom of it, about a foot down the ground, it said, Wife of Henry. And since then, they put a brand new marker there. And they was always wondering why, how come she wasn't, they always thought she was buried right next to her husband, but she wasn't. Let's walk on around some more. A lot of baby graves here, of course. Right back in there is was where the uh, early Bohannon property was. Then Mark Bohannon moved back 40, 50 years later, midway up Foster Gap, where you go toward the big tree. Here's Julia Cantrell, which is Uncle Elbert's first wife. She's a Whitmire from over North Carolina. Even though Smokey Ken has her a different name, but she was a Whitmire. And, uh, oh, thank goodness Park's actually cut down this tree right here because it was starting to cover over her baby's grave. Her and the baby died the same day. She also got a set of twins buried up on the Ormy Cemetery on Porter's Creek. Back in this little section in the back corner, we got some uh, Kirby's, which uh, is very interesting because, uh, or I got here spelled Kilby, K I L B Y, 1852 1912. And uh, I don't know much about that family. I don't really find them in any deeds in Greenbrier. Now here's the grave of. Isaac Whaley and his wife Hulda and this real fancy stone I know that uh, that uh, Helen Ramsey and her group put this stone in here years later because she comes off of uh, one of the kids here I can't remember exactly which one it was they buried right here and of course that's uh, 
Elijah Whaley's brother, we talked about in the Elijah Whaley's cemetery, talked about it. And right here is my great great grandmother. Buried sitting up in a rocking chair. I've told that story before. And that was her favorite uncle. He always took care of her when she needed stuff because she was a single woman with a, one child who was my grandmother. Who's probably the, uh, should be really, last name should be Morgan. Here's Ivor Whaley. Ivor owned most of the land that went up toward uh, the Barnes place below the Pinnacle, going up the upper, upper Branch Falls the old days. There used to be a fence out through here. I can remember, you can still see fence posts around some of the trees. Decoration weekends, they bring flowers in. A lot of ways in here. Now I'm in the old Wambi section. And this stone here, stone here says Granny Mary Coons, K O N E, Coon, C O N. Called her Granny Coon. But the actual spelling is actually K U H E N, it's German. She's the wife of the old John Wambi. They used to live over in Rutherford County, North Carolina, but Greenville, South Carolina. And she's pretty much the great grandmother of all the homies around here. Her son, John B. Ormby, who is my great great grandpa, who did the Benjamin Creek. That's his old marker. Put a new marker. Here's the old marker. It's still readable. You can barely read it. And his wife, Jean Jane Whaley, who was a twin to Isaac back there. And of course, uh, her daddy. This one right here, the old William Whaley. Served in the War of 1812. He was married to Marianne Ogle right here, who is the daughter of the uh, first Ogles of Gatlinburg. The Ogle cabin in Gatlinburg, you've been there with this, this is Martha's daughter. Down here are some other families like the Tates and Morgans, a bunch of baby graves. Pretty much all of William's boys are all buried right back to here. Preston, Commodore Seahorn, Heron Army and his group right down there. Some of these old stones I was able to read about 20 years ago. I can't read them now. The Tate stone's pretty much all broken apart. There's Preston Levy. Here's George Bradford Whaley. He's a war soldier, preacher. His farm is right there below the Ramsey Cascade parking lot to the right. But as you can tell, very big cemetery. I kind of like this stone going right into the tree. Going right back into nature. This is a big cemetery. This one in Sugarland Cemetery, probably the two biggest cemeteries in a national park, at least on the Tennessee side. And the old trail goes down the bank right there and hits our road bed and walks back out to the where we came in from. And William Wade's house sit right down there where that rock wall is. We're pretty straight across the river from the pavilion, Wade Pavilion, and Porter's Creek back up that way. And the old middle prong, today is called False Gap Prong. Run drop back up to there, and that's how you hike up to the big tree at False Gap. And uh, our home site's up there, and that's where we came down and did the Go Smoky hike years ago. So just give you a little insight to where my ancestors came from. A good day in Greenbrier. I've got it all to myself. A little bit of rain and scared everybody away. I'm going to take you off trail sometime. Come back in the cooler months, September through April. I can show you a whole lot of things back in these woods.
国権上で。